Let me give it to you straight. Going to a concert which you know the majority of the songs and lyrics to, that's just a good time. But having that all crash down in a matter of one minute because of vaccination status crushes your soul, oh my goodness. But let me explain it from the beginning. Around the month of July is when I first heard a song called The Wave of You on Instagram being promoted. I'm caught up in the way I feel about you. As I was scrolling through Instagram at like 3 in the morning, like every person does that doesn't have a regular sleeping schedule, I thought I'd give it a shot, and from the first 10 seconds, I rocked with it and I downloaded it. Then I went down the rabbit holes of their songs and ended up liking the Pacifico and the Horizons album. Then I found out they were performing in San Francisco, SF, only two months out, and I was like, yes, I'm down, their vibes, I'm, I'm for it, I'm down for it. Fast forward time in September 23rd, and I'm stoked. Side note, I asked people around me if they wanted to go because I didn't want to go solo, but everyone was either busy or had things to do, so I ended up going solo. So, because I had to go solo, I ordered a lift for $69. I get to the line, and the line's like, what, 15 minutes, all goody, fast forward to my turn in line, and this is where I get really disappointed. I notice they're looking at Vax cards, but they're looking for how many doses. So my turn comes up, and the man signals me to come over, and I pull out my identification card, and my vaccination card. Get over here. He then says, Alright, so what do we have here? Ooh, what do we have here? Whoop. He asked me the usual date of birth, area code, and I'm guessing they're doing this because people have been having illegitimate vax cards or something among that nature, so I get it. Countries, companies, and venues may start to require proof of vaccination for people to travel, entertain themselves, or even go to work. Then he says, uh-oh, when are you gonna get your second dose? Then I reply, soon, probably next week. I really didn't know, I didn't, I was trying to think about it on the spot. To which he says, Oh man, dude, I'm unsure if they'll even let you in. Uh, let me see. He then signals the man with a ponytail to get a second opinion. Get over here. He's already shaking his head before he even sees what's going on. Then the man with the ponytail says, You gotta have two doses, man. One dose is not fully vaxxed. See, at this point, I'm straight up deflated. I'm feeling the feeling of disappointment, uh, disbelief, and helplessness. They all begin to settle in. I waited two months for this concert, and I couldn't even get through the door. I'll give them credit, on their website it does say quote unquote fully vaxxed, which I didn't click on, and I guess I'll take fault for that because at first glance it just says vaxxed, it doesn't say fully vaxxed, unless you click on the link and then it says fully vaxxed. I honestly thought one dose was enough, but apparently not. However, that's not even the worst part. The refund in and of itself becomes an issue. I ask, can I get a refund? So they direct me to the manager, and the manager then directs me to a brown booth for refunds, I suppose. So then I ask them, hey, can I get a refund? Because I can't get in, I'm not fully vaccinated. Yeah, can I just get a refund? They say, and I quote, yeah, SF City mandates vaccinations, and because you got it through AXS, a third-party app, we can't give you a refund. I search it up afterwards, and unless the performance itself gets postponed or they change venue, then you can get a refund. Other than that, there's very, very, very rare scenarios where you'll get a refund. Keep in mind, I just paid $70 for the ticket. You can see where the frustration is starting to come in, right? They then told me, you have to see if anyone wants to buy that seat from you out there. Y'all... When I tell you the mixture of negative emotions that I had, I waited two months for this concert. 70 for the ticket and 69 for the lift ride there. And I couldn't get a refund. What sucks is that I think they may or may not have let people slip here or there that aren't fully vaccinated. You good? I got a bag. Let me see that. You good? Next. Uh oh, no outside food or drink, sir. I'm sorry. Then again, that's just a hunch, and that's what I'd think, because no security is 1,000%. But then again, I don't know. This was a night to forget, like, so much. I want to see a silver lining, but man, I'm not even sure there is one. 
End result of the day, I end up going to AMC and watch the movie called Ten Rings by Marvel. Like, at the end of the day, I get it, your house, your rules, no vax, no entry, whatever. I'm more so disappointed at the fact that I couldn't get a refund. The system is so bad. Like, actually so bad. Now, I can't even enjoy their albums or their songs that I used to play a lot. Now I can't even play them because it's just the memory just there. It's My body just won't allow me to do it. This was a night to forget, like, so much. And I want to see a silver lining, but man, I'm not even sure there is one. At the end of the day, I just ended up watching a movie. Anyway, let me know if you guys have encountered stuff like this. What was your negative experience with AXS or buying a ticket in general? Feel free to let me know. Anyway, hasta luego, hasta pronto, hasta proxima. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Bye. You know what makes me mad? Look at this. So I'm supposed to be at a concert at this con this big line. This big I'm supposed to be there. However... Ah, I can't.